Hello my dear YouTube family. Hope you are doing well. My name is Parth and I welcome you to our channel Must Watch Tips. Today in this video we are going to see how to make this percentage sliders in Microsoft PowerPoint. This type of presentations are always useful when you are presenting some percentage bifurcation according to topic or category wise in college or in a business presentation. So I'll be showing you how to make this step by step. So that's all for the introduction and now let's begin with making this presentation. So here I have taken a blank presentation and let us first insert a shape and the shape is the circle and by holding shift button I'm making an exact circle and let me choose no outline so you can make an exact circle by holding a shift button while you make a circle now let us go to shape again and let us insert another circle like this with a different shade no outline and let us make a ring out of these two circles so i'll first select the blue one then i'll select the orange one then i'll go to shape format and in uh, insert shapes we have an option of merging the shapes so let us select subtract so this is how it is uh, subtracting one object from the another object there are multiple options as well in the merge option you can uh, union these two objects you can subtract one from another you can uh, intersect both the objects like that so now let me resize this and let me just duplicate it and in the first one let us fill it with the gray shade like this now for this one let us again go to insert and let us let us insert a rectangle like this so that it covers half of the circle let us say no outline and when you put exactly at the center uh, dividing the circle by equal half there will be a red line indicating that it is the exactly circle like this now let us select the rectangle and by holding shift button i'll select the circle or the ring then again we will go to shape format and let us select intersect so this is how we uh, selected the shape which is intersect between the two objects now let me place this over the shape which we have just created the gray ring and by choosing this two object let's let us group them so i'll press ctrl g and ctrl g command enable you to create a group of the objects so this is how we created a group right so I'll be showing you for one percentage sidebar and then you can have an idea of how it works. So let us suppose I have placed it over here. Now let me go to animation and let us add a spin animation like this with a duration of two seconds. It is on click animation and if we go to animation pane and we, if we go to effect options there are multiple options given how many degrees you want to rotate so let us say we want to rotate it by 120 degrees so i'll press 120 hit enter and let us press ok so it will be rotating by 120 degrees let us take duration of one second and this is how it works now we don't want to display this color before we press enter so what we will do We'll go to insert, go to shape, and let us select a rectangle. And I'll place that rectangle over here, like this. And we will select no outline, and we will choose the same color which we have in the background. So this is how it look initially. Now let us insert a text box, and in that we will write, let us say it is 78% of this. And let us choose a font like this one and i'll be placing it over here and in the same manner i will i will be making another text box and let us write the topic which you want to have let me place it over here so one thing which you wanted to have is that the color of the text boxes and the slide bar so let 
us change that first so instead of orange let us say we take a blue color bar so we'll choose the same color for text as well like for example you can choose this one and let us place this white rectangle where we had initially let us insert a text box for subtitle let us make it center aligned and i'll be uh, placing it over here now let us add animation to this text box so we'll go to animation and let us add an animation of zoom it will be after previous let us paste the same animation in this text box as well as this text box so this is how it works then and you can replicate this uh, one group of the objects in multiple let us say i have duplicated this over here and let us bring this to back so this will work like this you can even take different color palettes from the website you can just just google it or go to the website called colors and you can take a snip of it and by the help of eyedropper tool you can choose the color from this palette as well if you don't know how to take color from this palette by using eyedropper uh, you can just simply go to our channel where i have showed how to take colors from that in the previous videos so i hope this video has something for you and you have learned something from this video so if you like this video please share it with your friends and consider subscribing to our channel and visit us again see you in the next video till then goodbye